guys, it's Soul Step, and guess what? It is patch 2.0 for Taking King. How excited is everyone for this? I mean, come on, look at my guy with no helmet. Ah! Anyways, as you see, the late level is down by your name now on the screen. No helmet, like I already said. Plus, the new uh, light level is 152, so we're gonna start out it with at 34. And obviously, um, all you guys have no helmet now in the starting screen. So we're going to take the first look at the new solar system page. You can see the layout is totally different. The vanguard up top. You can see, yeah, I'm assuming these are going to be like the new, you know, heroic playlists or whatnot. And then you got the legacy, which is all the old strike playlists combined into one now. And then the crucible, we got a whole bunch of things that are here to stay now. See, the, the background will change. That's the new Titan Iron Banner gear. What? Yeah, it looks sick. So here we have for the limited event, we have the Rift. We have the Control, the Clash, Skirmish, Salvage, and Rumble. I'm assuming these are going to be the special Taken King events, more than likely. Now, the bottom three, I'm kind of a little curious because you look, there's a single sword with a single dot. Three dots with a single sword and six dots. So I'm wondering if it's like a special control event, maybe a special, then the three dots would be special skirmish or salvage events. And maybe the single dot would be a special rumble event. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting what they're going to do. And you can see the background changes. I'm trying to show you guys the hunter one there. Look at that hunter iron banner cloak. Oh, it's a wolf's head. Yeah, dude, iron banner gear is going to be so sick. Come Taken King. That was a cinematic that we can't see yet. Uh, here's the new things. I'm assuming that's going to be the new special event Uh icon there then you have your crucible your daily story your uh, heroic strike and your nightfalls as usual nothing's really different there now we're going to take a look at all that they changed in your uh, menu screen now and you see the subclasses have a shiny new icon super nice there's your new ghost shell well your old one sort of say that's where they're going to be at now on the main page. That is where artifacts will go once we're hit level 40 and we have access to those. Down below on the left hand side is now the sparrow and ship. Shaders, emblems, and your new emote tab will be on the right hand side. You can also preview it by hitting Y. And this one right here is obviously for the left uh, uh, D-pad. You can keep hitting it. Check it out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then the, the quests over here, I like this new layout, it's really cool. You get these from doing uh, your new, like, you know, obviously it's my hunter, your new hunter quest. And this is, that's the bounty I had yesterday, the auto turn in. Thank you, Bungie. Your future war call or whatever other rep you have doesn't show up until you side with a faction. You'll see that in a little bit. The inventory screen is a little different. They added the uh, legendary uh, marks up at the top now. So we'll start being able to get those next week. All this is pretty much the same. The helmets are all there still. I'll, I'll sit, check if there's an option for just a title screen or whatnot or menu. But there's not, unless I didn't see it. Now here's, this is me. Of course, I got to rep my future war cult, guys. So this is me doing that. It's super exciting. How can I help? Gives you a little background about you know support your future call blah 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 we're awesome rep us be cool costs a little bit of glimmer nothing big everyone should have plenty and plenty of glimmer and I believe when you're a certain rank you get a quest my future call is like rank 59 or something like that so I didn't have to worry about um, not getting the quest so um, as you'll see, it should pop up. There, there's the quest you get. And I believe this is the quest line to get your exotic uh, class item uh, for the three factions that there are. So it's pretty cool. I You can't finish it, as far as I know, because you have to be able to do 10 Excellent heroic strikes. Choice. And uh, you can't do heroic strikes at the moment due to us only being level 34. Here you can turn in uh, your armor supply for a rep. A special ammo and heavy ammo also go for reps. Pretty interesting. Pretty cool. I think I dumped some special ones in since I had a ton from the Taken King uh, event in the beginning. Alright guys, we're going to check out where the uh, ships and uh, sparrows are located at now. 
I missed, I completely missed, you can see the ship went to the right there, I completely missed it when I walked up the stairs, but your, your ship one is on the other side of the stairway on the right hand side as you come up. Um, but here's all your sparrows collections now, basically everything you can get, you can't double equip them anymore, or hold them I should say at a time. So this is the collection that you can get, it's pretty a lot of basic and upgraded ones apparently. There's also a page two, which you'll see in a sec, that has, I think, your promotional ones, yep, and then upgraded two versions of them. So there's a ton of sparrows out there for you collectors that didn't, wasn't aware of it. Alright, now to see what the changes to the vault bring. I believe that we only have access to one page of it right now, because as you can see, I'm at 35 out of 72. But I can't go to the next page. So I thought that was kind of odd. Um... I kept trying to either hit the right trigger or hit the arrows, but it didn't seem to work. But either way, it's still a nice addition, because especially for weapon, or I mean, excuse me, armor, I have a huge amount of room now to carry my cloaks or any other class items I have. And then same with the, your general tab. Just you can hold anything you want in there now. Go through your emblems, delete them out of your vault, and the air extra shaders, because you won't need that anymore. Now this is, I, I recorded this just so you guys can see what the, your class quest want line looks like the very first one you get hey, this is obviously here. for the hunters um, you get a cloak it's pretty cool uh, it's just a basic uh, cloak that was available before if you had good RNG um, but I mean, like the first quest I've gotten is you, you know you gunslinger kill I think it was like 20 or 50 different uh, enemies and then the next one I'm on right now currently is What's dropping 20 orbs so I don't know where it goes from there yet, we'll find out, but that's about as far as I am right now. It's pretty cool. Glad they had something different. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, my f my part of the, where the speaker has got corrupted, there's really nothing much new over there besides just a new kiosk for the shaders and emblems. Um, but these are, these are what the new bounties look like. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. This will wrap it up. So if you guys could uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I may try to find find that video that's not corrupted so you guys can see I have a video of all the shaders and emblems on my guy so um, yeah hopefully I'll dig that out get it working again and we'll be good to go so super hype super pumped I'll be streaming tonight more fun and do the rift and stuff so see ya